good evening. Well, of course, 6 p.m. here at Her Chanda means one thing, and is the brand new launch of a one day special. And today, you well, you can hear probably a sewing machine over there on the corner. And of course, Haley is sewing. No. It is fabric freedom. No, I'm going as quickly as I can because I didn't get my samples until I got to the studio. So I'm currently sewing things together for you. Well, <laughs> you fine. are a speedy sewer, a speedy it's crafter. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine, be absolutely. Fine. Well, we'll Don't let uh, Haley, of course, <laughs> get sewing. Uh, but let's have a look at what the one day special it is. Now, we have got plain fabrics. We have got half meter fabric, six pieces of half meters. Now, this one day special, of course, is by Fabric Freedom and it's quilting cotton. Now, you are getting it with a one meter of fusible web interfacing as well. You have a choice of what color story you want to tell, what colors you want to use, what color you want to use for your binding, for your sashing, for your quilting in itself. Let's start with the option, shall we? Now we have got those six options and remember you, whichever option you are gonna go for, you're gonna get six pieces, six different shades of it. So we have got the candy pink first. So we have got, of course, a deeper tones, uh, lighter tones like marshmallow pinks. And then you have got here sherbet pinks as well. And of cotton candy as well, can you see it? Those beautiful pinks are there. Then you may want to go for neutrals. Neutrals could be one of my choices. Why? Because of course the neutrals bring in those creams, those lattes, those ch chocolates that kind of milk chocolate as well as vanilla ice cream. Oh my, am I in the in the ice cream mode? But uh, uh, I am actually fine, <laughs> I have had some curry. Um, but what I'm thinking about is of course those colors that will completely work with so many ranges of pattern fabrics. Then we have got another option, which is the spring. So this is the blue skies, the pistachio, gorgeous colors here, the bluebells as well. And of course, you have got here a little bit maybe of wisteria as well. You could think about it. The fields as well. Gorgeous, beautiful colors of the spring. Now that is the spring collection. And then we are moving on to sunset. And this is rich, beautiful kind of warm tones. Now you have got more of, I would say more tangerine color here, a beautiful zesty lemon and mango. This is definitely a mango, rich warm tones, as well as kind of more, you know, ice cream, um, lemon ice cream, I would say, because it is a sorbet sort of color in there. And then of course that could be a vanilla or it could be just again, maybe, a, you know, one of those ones that have got a little bit more concentrated lemon in them. Gorgeous uh, sunset. Then we are going to the lagoon. And the lagoon has got the more richer blues. And this is, we got to think about the blue lagoon and that kind of depth of color, the deeper waters that you can see in there, the deep skies as well, the kind of, this I would say is a light navy or almost indigo uh, because it has got kind of a little bit of purpley tones in there. But of course you have got this one, those blues that are warmer in turn. Then you have got the forest that surrounds the lagoon, that kind of rich pine trees as well has the traditional greens in there with a gorgeous two-tone as well now that is the lagoon option and then we are going to the wild berry now here the rich purples aubergines you have got lilacs as well we have got that really this is one of my favorites because i love purple when it kind of goes into and you can see it here that's that's the one that I love. And you have got the gorgeous, rich uh, tones, and it has got a little bit more warmth. And then we have got that beautiful, more blue, purple, and finally a very light lilac. As you can see, all six colors, whichever of the six options you are going, are six different colors. Uh, now you are getting them in half meter pieces. Now, you are also getting, let me grab it, uh, you are getting a fusible web interfacing. Now, Hayley, what is this exactly and what do we use it for? Okay, so um, this is the same as the fusible webbing you'll be more familiar with, with um, like a paper backing on it. Yes. So with this, you can literally use a greaseproof paper or anything that is, is similar that's not going to stick to it. I wouldn't use something like a like a plain paper, it needs to have some kind of um, non-stick or greaseproof backing. So any baking sheets, those kind of things is perfect to go with this. And what you can do with this is either sandwich two pieces of fabric together to up the weight of something. So say you've got um, 
uh, a poplin and you want it to be more like a quilting cotton weight, you could put a lighter weight fabric on the back and just boost the weight of that. Or if you've got something and you want to make it much heavier, say you've got some of these um, one day special pieces um, and you want to boost the weight of them so they're kind of more suitable for things like upholstery or home furnishings or blinds, that kind of thing, then you can absolutely um, use that on the back of it and then maybe put a calico or a heavy weight fabric on to really kind of boost the weight of it or if you're just doing your kind of you know your nice you know uh, applique pieces or yeah fancy little bits and, and bobs where you're just adding fabric on the top you can just use it as your normal kind of uh, fuser web bonder web you know there's lots of different names for it Right, uh, that is one your day, one day special. Uh, twenty five pounds and ninety three pence is your uh, your price. You're saving fifteen pounds. Remember, flex extravaganza. Yes, you still can uh, split the cost in interest free payments. So that would be about uh, twelve pounds seventy five pence, I think, or no, actually thirteen pounds. Thirteen pounds. Thirteen pounds. That would be what you would be paying today, or just under uh, four four four. 495 is your item number you can see all the options on the website and there you can see and now these ones of course remember they come with one meter fusible web interfacing uh, now this is of course the fusible web the nice neutrals the spring hues are the kind of sort of pastels and then you have got the sunset hues which are a delight lush lagoon now one question I would and Wildberry. Now one of, one thing that I would recommend, and I, I'm going to ask Haley in a second uh, if she agrees, is to go for a color that you either respond to. So for instance, you are a purple person, for, go for Wildberry, or one that is a neutral sort of tone. Because um, think about the colors that you use, the patterns. If you are going to use it on as a sashing or binding, this will be a perfect way to go for neutrals. Right. We do have got also other colors available. However, they are in sets of four. Uh, and this, uh, you do not get uh, the interfacing. That's very important. But they have got a fabulous, fabulous price. So four half meter pieces. We have got four different options. Shall we go through the options here? So we have got, this is uh, our fabulous fuchsias. It's one of my favorite options. Let's remove this little thread. I don't like that. <laughs> anyway, you can see it here, the hard, beautiful pinks, all four four different shades and you have got like one which is more mauve one that is more darker tones one that is a little bit brighter and one that is a little bit more intense if you if, if that makes any sense now of course Haley, can you give us some ideas on how to use them oh, for shorter um, yes so one of the things that we are going to use it for is um, Borgello quilting okay so Borgello is where you have the same width of all the fabrics and that's what I'm busy piecing together now I'm yeah. piecing together all those long strips and I'm using uh, the one day special the pinks yeah the, the candy pinks yeah yes the candy pinks and the fuchsia option that you've fuchsia. just had there oh, and that's a great way to um, start out quilting this as well I mean I'll tell you maybe a second step up uh, initially you know just piecing your blocks together is great this is a slightly different technique whereby you'll take strips of everything join them all together into a big loop and then um, uh, cut open that loop back yeah. out and then line them back up and you'll cut them different widths to get different kind of oh, effects and um, curves showing but that's what we're, I'm trying my best to get everything sewn together so we can do this oh. um, but yeah, a Fabul great thing Fabulous to do idea. with these because you've got that graduation of colour. You've got lots of colours from the same family and this will lend itself so beautifully to Bargello. Okay, fabulous. Thank you so much, Riley, for that. Then that's the fuchsia. Then we have got a lime cooler. This is really fabulous. Uh, again, you have got more of a mint colour here. Again, I would say this is a light pistachio ice cream. Then we have got the li definitely lime pie sort of green. And finally, we have got a mojito green here. I would say it's a mint, uh, you know, like a proper mint. Not mint ice cream, but a proper mint. Uh, hence the mojito. Uh, now, that it would be the mint, uh, the mint cooler. Then this is a red maple sunset. This is definitely my favorite. Uh, now, reds are, uh, I'll go in a minute here. Red is, a, is my favorite color, but sometimes I find it hard to find different beautiful shades of red. 
all four shades are absolutely stunning. Obviously, the camera, I don't never think that the monitors rather than the camera, I'd never do it as just this. This is a deep, this is almost like my favorite color. It's a, a what I call it, and what, what in Spain we call it a blood red, a deep, intense red. It's a really rich and, and, and I don't know, there is something incredibly beautiful. Yes, yeah, scarlet, red. wine, red, but it's just kind of in between and it's just beautiful. Then we have got what I would call a Merlot or a burgundy color here. Then this is more of a terracotta red. It's definitely more terracotta than uh, the other ones. It has a more warmth. It has got kind of a little bit of orange into it. And then finally, I would say this is a watermelon uh, or a strawberry red. Uh, they are all beautiful shades as well. And that means that when you, if you go for one of these sets, when you're looking for a red, you know that you have got four beautiful shades that you can match up. And then we have got uh, the the are thick greens now the difference between this and the mint you can see it here one is very light and fresh and this is my earthy my more neutral as well so we have got here a more of i would say this is a fern green a light fern green then we have got what i could call it a, a mossy grain a really kind of it's almost like a pampa grass kind of uh, green and then we have got this one which is more of an olive green and finally, we have got, I think this is a sandstone, rather. You know, I wouldn't say that this is green. This is that, this, your eyes do not deceive you. This is definitely a sandstone sort of color. Now, all these options, all four options of four, uh, you will get them in say, a half meter pieces for 14 pounds and 96 pence. Remember, it's a great price. You can multiply it and flexibly spread the cost interest-free thanks to Flex, uh, Flex Travianza. 794-550 is your item number. Right, Haley, what have you got there? It's more stuff. More. <laughs> <laughs> so these are really, really bright ones. And these are based around uh, Fabric Freedom's Melody range, which um, you will have seen before. It's like a, um, a batik look, but it's actually a, a printed fabric. So it's got a regular pattern to it underneath. But what they've done is they've taken that and then put a print over the top of it. So you're okay. getting even more interest to it. So this one, this is your Spriggs. And we've got lots of different colours within these, but lots of the colours will match with other sets and we'll start pulling them out and pulling them across at the minute. So um, I'm going to assume that these are like sensible names. Um, they're <laughs> like brown. Correct. Excellent. Blue? Blue? Yeah. I'm going to go khaki on the green. Olive. 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 Oh. Um, uh, pink or fuchsia? Pink. Pink, yeah. excellent. This one's like a creamy beige colour. I think they're going to go cream on it. Beige. Oh, beige. Well, kind of. Two de oh, how many How many did they get right? Three so far. Um, teal? Teal, yes. yes. <laughs> purple? A purple, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> You've got the li really, really bright zesty lime green. That's and lime. The yellow, again, really, really bright and zesty on these ones. And then we have the sandy brown Ooh. there as well. So that's the first kind of set that we're showing you that is the uh, Spriggs option. Now, these are the blotchy flowers, these next kind of four or five here. And you've got different, um, uh, you've got different pattern on the top, but you've got the sim very similar colours to you had before. So that is your sandy colour and you can see, oh, amber, sorry. And then you've got the two different patterns within there. So you can see you could absolutely match those up. And although it's the same colour, this one looks a little bit darker because it's got more of that dark print on the top. Um, and there's another, there's a match for the olive. Let me just grab that one. Oh, I see. So it matches perfectly the colour. Yeah, absolutely perfect matches on these and you've got pick and mix any two on these so you could go for ones that have exactly the same match or you could go for two with the same pattern that um, are maybe different colors so you've got different ways you can work these together and um, so there's all of, I think just about all of the colors are in that first option and then you've got different elements that come through with the other patterns so the next lot of patterns that we have are uh, the filigree and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different options in this one. So oh, I 
can't remember. It wasn't cream. Beige. It was beige. I forgot it was only there. And I forgot. Oh, you... So you got beige. Um, hang on. Marcus, I don't know what my left and right is. Uh, towards me, I'm left. I'm towards on your Paola. left. Away from power. Away from there you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, we are about I'm really four sorry. meters apart. It is not the best thing to do to tell me to go left. Or right. I'm Just with you. Towards power or away from power is what I'm going to need. Oh. <laughs> We're all sorted. So, and um, you've got your beige. You've got the that beautiful pink. And again, you're using those two together. You can have a, a really nice option where it kind of shows more of the background on the filigree one. So it looks a little bit lighter, but it's exactly the same colour. You've got your sand. There you go. No. Ah, uh, yeah, that's gorgeous. I mean, just those two together in something yeah, quite neutral. Exactly. I mean, I know that we've got some um, bits and pieces coming up tomorrow. Oh. Not with fabric freedom, yeah, but with fabric silly, silly yeah. that will match with all of this oh, so um oh, i can't we probably won't be able to see it because it's not on the internet oh. yet but i might i might sneak them on at eight o'clock so you can have a quick sneak so because oh, i know oh. there's not huge stocks on some of these okay so i'll sneak them on so you can have a quick look Fabulous. um okay so you've there's the other three that are still in the filigree option you've got your blue sage and grey now grey is one we haven't seen yet but this one's a, actually a really lovely one because it's a new, really nice alternative to a black and it will match with lots of different grey colours because there's all of those different colours running through them last option that we've got are all of the fantastic spots and we've got so many options in this one and it, all of those really bright zesty colours one that i really love is this one is the beige is the beige one because i think the beige with the beige spots on because you've got that mottled background it's much easier to match with an awful lot of colors it does and also i was thinking from here it looks a little bit like animal print yeah almost especially these ones it, on. they do don't they so for like oh definitely those three those, those three together definitely yeah. look a little bit animal yeah. print yeah. But then you can take it either way. I think if, if you're not kind of thinking in that vein, then you could put them with anything. I mean, I know Absolutely. certainly a few of these would work really well with some of the things we'll, we'll show you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, oh, broke it. Uh, oh, lots and lots of different colours. Well, mo don't let Molly <laughs> lots see of that. To choose from. Uh, now, I'll go and fix this. <laughs> <laughs> right, that is the pick I mix, the Melody Quilting Cotton, uh, ten pounds and ninety nine pence. You choose whichever two pieces, and of course, it's going to be half meter pieces for ten ninety nine. Even ten ninety nine, you can flexi buy it. We do have got fat quarters as well. Now, I need to tell you that whichever option you go for, the colours may vary, but you will get the the right pattern if, if that makes any sense. So, for instance, if you go for the chevron you might not get the colors that we display here or exactly the same ones but you will get them in chevron other spots and vice versa right here we have got so you have got a selection of 10 uh, fat quarters and you can see here that this is the chevrons and you can see them and now i'm uh, oh uh oh and um, uh, a poplin weight so everything that we've looked at previously has been a quilt and cotton which means that's a little bit of a heavier weight and a slightly wider weave uh, what paula's got there now is a, a poplin which is uh, still 100 percent cotton i think sometimes get people get confused with the name poplin and, and think polyester absolutely not 100 percent cotton it's just a slightly finer weave so i would say your yeah, poplin brilliant for things like your english paper piecing because with that tighter weave it's a little bit easier to get uh, nice crisp edges but you can use it for lots and lots of different projects now also is it the sort of fabric that they use for shirts yes yeah it's it's classed as a shirt in weight material so it's the same see. weight as you'd see in a just an, an ordinary men's shirt indeed then we have got the spot selection remember that the colors may not be exactly the ones that you see here or maybe one to two variations however it will be a spots if you are getting the spots then you have got the uh that's the spots chevron we have seen then we have got the uh i think this is gingham or oh yeah gingham, gingham so you can see that there is a, a gingham Gingham check. That's it. So you are getting both gingham and check. Uh, that's how you are getting them. Uh, now remember the colours will vary a little bit, but it will be the sort that exact uh, pattern. Then we have got the large dots. Uh, do as they say, which is um, polka dots or so this. So this one is will be the polka dot because it's a larger one. The yeah, dot will be. The I small. would say dots are bigger and more oh, dots are no. smaller. 
did see, but it's did see. So did no, see is tiny. I, I know, but what, just generally, is a, a spot bigger or is a dot bigger? A spot is bigger okay. than a dot. Uh, uh, this is what they say. <laughs> Let's just I'm open it up to the floor then. I don't know. <laughs> Which is bigger, a spot or a dot? <laughs> yeah, that, that subtle differences of the English language escaped to me. But definitely <laughs> polka dot is bigger than, you know, Yeah, you see, see a polka dot, I would say it's bigger than the spot. Yeah. But then I would say that, oh, I don't know. I've confused this myself is now. This spot, I think, is the smaller. For and the purposes the of polka this. Dot is big. Yeah, we are going for the picture, so definitely polka dots is a larger one. My dot. intention was not to confuse everybody there, it was just general pondering. Oh, well, pondering. We, we pondered. <laughs> I uh, pondered you, everybody into confusion. And, and, and you're my English teacher, you know. Oh, you do not want that. <laughs> And then of you course, do not want that. <laughs> well, you all are my English language teacher. Oh, and, that, and then we have got, of course, the plain, uh, plain option for the. Remember, this is pop plain, unlike the other ones which are quilting weight. Uh, there is twenty-one pounds and ninety-nine pence is your price. You are saving at three pounds and nine three seven four eight and four is your item number. Right, we have got lots more on the website, so do check that out, including the uh, Swiss rolls, uh, basic colors we have got. So this is one roll of all the same color uh, now you are getting 20 strips of two and a half inches by 44 inches you are getting the, you you can go for this white you can go for the ivory you can go for the pewter which is the gray uh, black uh, then you can go for the navy or the christmas red those ones are your options 17 pounds and 99 pence which is saving of two pounds remember you can flexi buy maybe now, you are thinking of white and gray and pewter or, or something like that do put them in the basket flexi buy them and you only pay two for one of them before we go on to the next, next thing one. yeah and um, we had these just before christmas i think yeah. and they sold out just about instantly because these are a brilliant idea it's 20 strips of the same color which is so so useful if you're doing sashing or you're doing binding on a large quilt so this these are absolute essentials and um, I wish I had the physical samples because here they are brilliant. Um, because they are absolutely brilliant um, be quick on these because I don't believe absolutely. again there's a, a huge amount of stock uh, 970822 is your item number. Now we have got also charm packs uh, of solids. Uh, now they are five by five inches. You are getting 42 squares. Now the strawberries and cream is the one you can see. Then you have got a uh, powder shades in there, which you have got beautiful greens and creams and blue grays. Then, and that's the, uh, the op two options. 1199 is the price. And yes, you can flexibly them. Uh, strawberries and cream appears to be green. So I assume that is is limited to stock. Uh, you are saving three pounds. Five, seven, eight, eight, uh, seven, three. Uh, right, and then we have got uh, uh, more poplin. We have got a uh, 10 half meters, uh, 44 inches wide, uh, wide, uh, five and a half meters in total. You have got two options, which you have got the light option, or you have got the darks. Obviously, I'm going for darks there, that beautiful red. 27 pounds and 48 pence is your price. You're saving five pounds, 517, 815 is your item number. All right, of course, we want to head back to Hayley to see what she's doing. So Hayley. Okay, right, so um, the planes that we've got in these bundles, as we said earlier, brilliant for uh, Bargello quilting. So Bargello quilting is where you start off by uh, having pieces all the same size, so things like the jelly rolls are brilliant for this as well. Starting pieces all the same size, so I've just cut a standard size strip, it's around two and a half inches. I'm going to admit that I didn't have a tape measure. So um, all I've done is cut one, use that one as a template to cut every single other one because what happens if you cut this one first and then you cut this one from the first one, then you cut this one from this one and this one from this one. What gradually happens is you'll find you either drift a little bit larger or you drift a little bit smaller. So whichever one you start off with, use that one as your template to cut all the way down. And obviously if you're going for a certain size, then you want to do the maths and make sure that you've got, you've started off with the right size and then you can work your way through. So I have sewn together one, two, three, four, five, six up to here, which is the, um, all of the colors in the one day special, okay. which is in the candy pink candy option. Bank, yeah. And then these last four that I've got here 
These are from one of the um, other sets that you had that had the four fabrics in as well. And with a barge yellow, you generally want um, at least 10 fabrics to be able to start getting that kind of right. movement. So six from the one day special and four from the Perfect, uh, six, from four, the perfect. Yep. You can have more, that's okay. fine. You can have more than 10, but I would say 10 is about your minimum. That 10 is a good amount good to have. Enough. So um, all I'm doing at the minute is just sewing these big strips together um, and just graduating the colour through because what I was going to do is if we did have enough time I've got the purple is it the wild berry option yeah wild berry yeah I've got the wild, wild berry. berry option here which if I wanted to continue this on then I could go through the wild berry and I've kind of selected my colours so that I could continue on with that next kind of purple that's there and then work my way through so let me just take these out of here and we'll see if we were going to go on to continue on okay well now from here if I was going to continue on from the purple option I'd probably head to the the bluey uh, the, the lagoon either that one or the the light blue that's the on the spring the that's spring one this one yes one. either of those two so if I was going to go um, ahead and end and go to the bright version yeah then it's probably kind of this deeper color that I want to end with Okay. But if it's going to go to those pastely blues, yep. then it's probably something more like that one that I want to end right. with. It's just one that I know that's going to kind of work into the next one. So it's, it's always worth just having a little kind of lay out of things and having a little bit of a play work out which way you want to go with it. So, so if you went from uh, two one somebody. day specials, you still could do this yeah, technique? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely you could because if we didn't have these kind of pinky ones here, we could we could go straight in with the purples. I would maybe have gone um, and just swapped those two round, and then come in with that one, and then a little bit of a darker purple, darker again, darker again, and then towards the blue perhaps. Um, no, I could get that one in. Maybe get that one in there. So you can kind of work your way through those yeah. colour tones. But it's definitely worth if you're either going to go for a one day special and one of the four packs or two one day specials. Lay the fabrics out first, have a bit of a play, make sure you've got that kind of graduation of colour because that's what you're looking for. And ideally, when you finish, you want something that's going to be pretty close to what you started with. So, for example, if I, go f if I maybe went through some colours and went through to the neutrals, then that would be perfect because then I can link one to the other and then I've got that graduation of colour that goes all the way through that is so important to kind of help you with your barge yellow effect. So um, once you've got all your strips cut out, you're just literally going to sew them together. Once you've sewn them all together, as I said before, you're going to sew them effectively into one big loop. Okay. So then you've got a big tube of fabric is what right. you've got. And then once you've got your big tube of fabric, you are going to cut them out so that would be sewn to there. So I would have a big, big tube, big loop that goes all the way around. Let me just Can I be very, there. very naughty? Uh -huh. Can I ask you to, could you do that? Show us there. Uh, I want to add a few more on first oh, because I, I won't oh, get I the see. effect. Oh, okay. That's yeah, fine. I won't get the effect yet. So um, no, no, I'm, no, no, sorry, so I'm going to have to add a few more on before, unfortunately. Okay. I could do that. Um, but then we will. We'll absolutely it's just because I on. really love this idea and I just we loved, wanted to uh, see well, it we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. It just won't be today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so once I've got it all in a big loop, then I'm going to take a ruler and cut these into strips going this way. Right. And what that will do is give me long strips yes. with lots of patches on of all the different colours. Now the width of that strip is not a continuous thing. It's not oh, always the I same see. size. And that's um, what I'll do is I, I'll actually, I'll see if I can print off a couple of barge yellow designs so you can see how the graduations work. Because your first one may be, say, a two, two and a half inch strip. Okay. Then the next strip along, you may have, and it'll be a little bit narrower. And then your next strip along will be a little bit narrower again. And what that will do is every time you um, kind of move down, you'll actually move these one further down. So let me see if I can just fold this so you can kind of kind of see. Ah, I so can see. you see your next, yes, I can your see colours it stagger yes. as you go down, but those lines will be straight. And varying the width of 
the um, strip that you add on to the next one will give you a different effect on the stripe. So I'm very sorry, this evening I will mostly be just putting strips together. But then tomorrow, uh, well, hopefully tonight, we'll start cutting that up. Um, and that'll give me a little bit of time Perfect. to be able to uh, well, put this together for you. Well, well, when you are sewing those bits together, <laughs> let's show you some happy hours. Now, we have got happy hours in every of the one day special hours. And these ones are a no, or this hour is no exception to that. We have got meadow quil quilting uh, here. We have got different options, I believe. Uh, now, we have got here a set of four half meter pieces. Uh, now, two meters in total you are getting. This this uh, is the blue yellow option and you can see the beautiful bees and the fur coat. Oh, that's, no, that's, but, 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 okay. I'm pretty sure that's, um, oh, well, kind of, uh, let, let's double check on that, that one. one's the blue, blue yellow. that one's blue yellow and then the next one is blue purple. It's, that's what I thought, yeah. yeah, no, that's good. 19 pounds and 99 pence is the price, saving eight pounds, that's what the option. Then there's a the blue uh, purple because I think, I'm pretty sure it is because it has got purple. Yeah, uh, uh, okay, so, um, yeah, so you can see it there. Have we got yeah. the red option too? Sorry? Oh, we have got the red option too. Red, green, yeah. I'm going to go um, see if I can look in the, are these happy hour ones? Yes. <gasps> right, so then. I was going to go look in the cupboard, see if I could find the quilt. Oh, I see. Because it always looks nice when you can see the quilt. Uh, well, sorry. never mind. <laughs> well, I've got too much to do. I can't be running off to go in the cupboard. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> we have got, of course, the red green option here. You can see all of them feature like a beautiful kind of fern, and there you can see it. Then the pom pom sort of flower, then the bee. And then, of course, finally, the larger pom-pom flower as well. So there it co coordinates perfectly. Whichever option you are going to go for, you're getting two meters of fabric in total. Uh, four half meter pieces, 19 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving eight pounds, 101451. Now, we do have got more happy hours and we are going to show them right now. <gasps> Love this! This is a meter piece by 63 inches wide. So this is extra width. That is 1.6 meters of width. You have got two options. This is the gray of the small, uh, small being the pattern. And this one is the cream. And that kind of works about the uh, background. This would work so much with uh, the one day special in the sunset as well as the, hues, uh, the spring hues as well. 618641 and remember happy hours they have got well they go they disappear at the end of the hour so grab yours by checking out their baskets then we have got a pick and mix of blenders 11.99 pence is your price you have got a four pound saving you have got different options you can pick any three of half meter pieces so you have got all these different options of different colors but of course the pattern is the beautiful floral vines from fabric freedom 6544 Six nine is your item number. Eleven ninety nine is the price. But remember, even happy hour prices, even those are amazing savings, you can flexify them as long as they are above five pounds. But that's because of flex extravagance at the event that we are currently on, right? We have got, of course, the one day special behind me with six different options. And we have got Haley sewing those strips of <laughs> fabric in there. Now, yeah, I'm still sewing. It is quilting cotton. It weight, is quilting isn't it? cotton, yes. And what I would recommend is a couple of things when you are going to put these together. So, um, when you're sewing long strips together, you've got two different options because they may not always be exactly the same length. And you'll see that here with this one that I've got here. So, it comes, I'll pull it down a bit. There we go comes along nicely and then I've got one ah, that's a little right. bit short. Now if you look at the other end, that one again lined up nicely but that one is the one that's really short. So you've got two different options with this. You can always line up from one end yeah, and then kind of all your mistakes are down at the other mm -hmm. or you can try and line up from the center each time and right. spread the mistakes so there's you know, that gap isn't such a big gap and you've got a little bit missing off this side and a little bit missing off the other side. It's, it's if, it, I mean, if we do like this, that yes. like have you have done it, I would think that you can, you make more use of you that got, You end bit. up with bigger bits. Exactly. Yes, you yeah. end up with bigger bits there, which you can maybe put into a, another project. So I do tend to prefer to line up all of one edge 
and then have all my kind of all my mistakes at the other. Oh, I see. <laughs> so as you go um, along with this, you are going to want to finger press each of these open. Now you don't have to uh, press the whole thing at this stage, but I would recommend you press it before you sew it into its little tube and get these all kind of pressed out really nicely. So first of all, I'm just running down with a fingernail and uh, pressing, finger pressing all of these open. So other top tips, especially when you're doing these really long pieces, is to sew in different directions. So when you come, let me just pull this to the end. So when you uh, sew this one to this one, and you've got them uh, like that, obviously you'll, you'll put it through your machine the right, the right way around. Ah, let's go this way, because then it goes through the machine the right way. So with this one, I will sew from the top to the bottom. And then my next one, if you um, are doing this method where you're lining them all up at the top, what you're going to need to do is rather than push it through the machine this way with your uh, piece that you're attaching on the top, you'll actually want to put it through the other way I with see. that piece on the bottom because you want to come in opposite directions yeah. because you'll, you'll not realise you're doing it, but what you'll do is you'll gradually drift off. Might only be by a millimetre per strip, yeah. But if you've got 20 strips together, yeah. then that's two centimetres that you're out by the, the top and the bottom. But if you alternate directions, can you see they're exactly the same width? Yeah. I'll just pull it down. There you go. See, they're exactly the same width. And that's because the first row, I'll sew top to bottom. And then the next row, I'll sew the other way. So that I always um, am going different directions and that will help even it out. So if I am a millimetre out coming down this way, when I come back the other way, I'll be a millimetre out in the other direction, it'll square itself off. And that is what will give you that kind of really nice, even sewing, uh, sewing there so that you'll have a really uh, like a constant width and you won't drift out. And, and the thing what I was thinking, um, now as a beginner quilter, last year I started quilting and uh, sewing, and one of the things that really kind of find it challenging, and you know, I still will go for pattern fabrics, but it was the, you know, the uh, patterns usually have got a direction. Yes, uh, some they've of got them a direction, direction. or they've, they've also got a fixed um, size to exactly. the So then you're into pattern matching, and you've got to kind of, uh, pick project that maybe you know the pattern might have a 10 centimeter repeat and by that what we mean is between um there's effectively usually a square or a rectangle and whatever you see on this side then will repeat on the other side of that 10 centimeters so say we've got a pink piece coming off that side and then there'll be another pink piece coming off the other side yeah that's what we're looking at and, 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 and I think having that planes is my problem yeah, was planes it was is a great way to start and even just as it is absolutely even I just as a quilt like that, like like that it yeah. would be really really pretty because you could do it for I was thinking for instance a cover of a chair you know those fancy things yes so you have it like this if you cut it in half and then you have got the lightest at the top then going darker and then darker again to the light Yes, well, yeah, absolutely. You could do that, or you don't necessarily need to um, cut it in half. No, no. You could just go, cut extra strips. Absolutely. So if I if I wanted it to do that, then I would just cut extra strips and go from my darkest one, and then come back and do this colour, and back and do this colour, and work my way out, coming the other way, making sure I've yeah. got all of the colours in there. Now, one question we have is with a half metre piece, uh, more or less, say, we are doing two and a half inches of strips. Yes. How many would we get? Um, considering that two and, and a half, half inches right. uh, would two be and half, about two and a half inch seven, seven, seven centimetres. Yes, it's about seven centimetres. So uh, you're getting half metre pieces, so that's seven strips. Seven times seven is 49. Uh, and a spare one. Exactly. It was per <laughs> centimeter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Per centimeter. Oh, well, not whole square strip. <laughs> your math always is. St I mean, you know, I love, I love you because you're just like kind of so quick, so on it. Uh, you know, definitely. You am, know, I the, you am I the Rachel Riley of craft of China? You are the Rachel. You know, uh, that means me. That, that, that means that I'm the Nick. Whatever his name is, uh, Nick Cure, the one that just sits there with him. <laughs> not very. You know. Well, I do have the grey hair, so. Well. There you, you know. go, we're sorted. Yeah. Well, uh, oh, can we play countdown? Do you oh? think? 
Do you think well, we, we could should one day? One day. Should we should. Okay. One day, maybe. Maybe let's leave it out for. Uh, See, the, I'm no you know, good with the, the letter upper. ones, though. I can do the number ones quite quick, but yeah. the letter anyway, ones. Anyway, let's do. Um, the anagrams, you've got no chance. Consonants, please. <laughs> now we have got the candy pinks and wrong. Uh, approaching 20% of this option has gone. Now, quilting white, six pieces of uh, half meters, uh, beautiful 100% cotton. This is the candy pinks. You can see the deeper tones, the lighter pearl tones. Think about the strawberries and cream. Think about those gorgeous, beautiful mauves as well that appear here, as well as more those candy floss and marshmallow. Then we have got the neutrals. And we are talking about, you know, a cappuccino, latte, caramel, toffee, vanilla. We are talking about creams and a tiny, you know, I would say ice cream, a lemon ice cream. And I really, really love it. So shall we go through? I would say this is more of a, um, you know, like a, a, a latte color uh, or a ca and then a caramel. I don't think that's correct. Like caramel is a little bit lighter. But what's really handy about having ones like that that are so close in tone is especially for this kind of Bargello work, perfect. Absolutely. That. And then we have got more of, I would say this is more of a vanilla. This one, uh, of course, we can see this one as well here. That is more of a lemon, I would say. That's this is really, or a vanilla. You know when it's a really, I would say, this is expensive vanilla ice cream. And this one is the a little... The seeds in. Yes. And then this one is a slightly the one that they put a little bit of colouring in, so it's a little <laughs> bit more yellow <laughs> rather than cream. <laughs> and then we have got the cream colour. Oh, so you mean that's the ice cream that you give to the kids? Absolutely. And then the, then the one with the white bit, the little one. black bits in. And this that's is the, the vegan. And this one is the vegan one, the one that has got nothing on it. <laughs> that hasn't got any milk in. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> then we have got the spring hues here. And then the spring hues have got the beautiful skies, the beautiful bluebells, and of course the wisteria kind of sort of colours in here. Then we have got the mint green, and, uh, and then those gorgeous sort of pistachio tones as well. Then we are moving on to the sunset and of course that gorgeous ice, beautiful oranges in here, the yellow cream and of course the yellows. And then we have got the yeah, I love the sunset. I really, really love that one. Then we have got the lagoon. Sorry? you know floral quilt think about all the flowers that would use all those yellows daffodils perfect for that because you could have oh. the really light ones that have the kind of light outer and the yellow inside and then you can have the really bright ones that got that really stunning yellow outside and then that orangey red on the inside absolutely. so lots and lots of flowers and things with that one so really good for if you're yeah. doing your florals absolutely then we have got a lagoon with the deeper blues and hues and of course this is kind of a dark denim or I would say indigo almost. Uh, then we have got the forest green, the bottle green, the Christmas green. Uh, now then we are going into then finally the uh, wildberry. Uh, a wildberry is the most popular and I'm not surprised because of course it's the purpley tones that uh, so many of you enjoy. Uh, now 20% of uh, the wildberry uh, is already gone. If you want yours, check out your baskets. 25 pounds and 93 pence is your price. You are saving 15 pounds and you can flexibly and pay just 13 pounds uh, today. 444-495 is your item number for the one day special. Back to Hayley who is... Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. It's, it's just not exciting at the minute because unfortunately I've got to get all these pieces together before we can do the exciting bit. But I can take you through those um, other fabrics and I think there's some beautiful options there as well. Let me just cut this off so I know where I'm up to. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So you can see it's cut. It comes together really, really quickly because all you're doing is sewing those long straight. I've got three few threads there that I just want to get rid of, and that's just because when I cut, well, I didn't cut. In fact, when I ripped the pieces, then sometimes you do get those little kind of threads coming through. And definitely press as you go with this because you can see the difference between the side that I've pressed there and this side, which is all a little bit lumpy bumpy at the minute because it hasn't been pressed. So it's definitely worth uh, pressing as you go. Okay. So I have the, uh, the Melody collections and these are so beautiful because I think you can use these in a lot of different ways. And the advantage of having that mottled background, that kind of almost batik look background is going to give you a lot more flexibility in the colors that you can use them with. Um, so this one up to here there we go up to here this is your oh, i've forgotten sprigs ditzy sprigs 
Ditty Sprigs, Ditty Sprigs. excellent. Um, and you've got lots of different colour options in here. Now you can absolutely use these together because you can pick and mix them so that they go together and especially that kind of nice sandy one as well. So you, see you have a really nice kind of neutral option with those three. Or you can go for those contrasts, the pink and the purple together. Again, oh, really, really nice and option. how are they to sew with? How does They're a quilting cotton. Um, they're a quilting so cotton, so really, sew. really easy to sew with. Uh, because there's such small patterns on these, you don't really need to worry about your pattern matching on these. You can just, you know, kind of cut and go for it and make the most of the fabric that you've got. So um, you've got, I think it's about two, four, six, eight, ten different options. Ooh, oh. ten different options. So you've got your brown, blue, olive, pink, beige, still want to say cream, uh, teal, purple, You've got lime green, really, really zesty and bright, that one. You've got your yellow, sand, and then we're into our next set. So the next set is the blotch floral, or floral blotch, whichever way around you want to go. Um, and there's only five options in this one, but the thing that we kind of pointed out before was that they're exactly the same background colour. So if you want to use them together, so maybe you've got a project, you're finding a difficult match for it. These are perfect because they've got lots of different colours. If I just open that one right out, there's lots of different colours. There's really, really kind of dark, kind of almost uh, chocolatey brown in there. And then it's going right through into those really light beiges. So you've got lots and lots of different shades within there, which means you'll get a good match with a lot of different fabrics. So you have uh, your sand, brown, teal, and pink in that one. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then They're the next option is the filigree. Have to do the twill. There we go. Uh, the filigree, there are <laughs> two, four, six, seven options. It's the twill. It's, it's a weird thing, isn't it? It now? is. Uh, now you know my pain. Of Do, oh, you don't like the twill? Yeah. I, I just acknowledge the twill and power through. Um, so <laughs> you've got power through. Uh, beige, pink. That sand again, I think that sand is available in all four of these options. So you're picking and mixing any two. So you could either go for two of the same pattern or you can go for two of the same uh, colorway in different patterns, or you could just do completely random ones. It's entirely up to you. Um, so we've got brown, blue, mm, I called it khaki, but they've called it olive. Olive. Yes. And the, uh, well, they've called it black, but it had quite a it's quite a grey to it. It's really, really nice, this one. And it will go with such a lot because it's got lots of lots of different tones of um, grey and black in there. And this one is one of those ones that you can mix and match with any other colour as well. Yes, yes. So this is a kind of a universal match on this one. So then the last lot we've got are the spots. We have had already oh. one sellout of the spots, which is the teal one. Okay, I can do that. That's the nearest one to me. That's convenient. Good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Very well thought. Pop you that know. over there. Okay, so um, in the spots, I think this is a lovely one, especially if you're kind of starting out as well, because the spots aren't even spots, and sometimes spots can be difficult to sew with. Sometimes it sounds silly, but they can because if those spots aren't dead straight, they can always look a little bit off. And I think we had either spots or some kind of pattern on a previous show where we explained about when you're cutting the fabric, because a lot of the times if it's plain fabrics, I'll rip it because you're always guaranteed to get it straight because it will rip with the grain of the fabric. But with uh, spots like the polka dots that you've got um, over there, you need to cut with the fabric, with the, uh, the print that's on the fabric, because what will happen is it will look out. Even though you've kind of ripped it straight and the fabric is ripped straight, if the print is not straight, it will always look out. So this spot is a really nice option as an alternative to that because you've got, A, you've got different sizes of dots and then more of a random positioning as well. So you're not worrying about lining up all of your spots. It's, it's working with spots is almost the same as working with stripes. Um, if the, the smaller they are, the kind of easier they are because it's not as obvious uh, where the match is. But um, these are such a nice option and when you've got that mottled background as well so you're getting that extra benefit of being able to blend with more fabrics I didn't couldn't see the red one so I thought I'd just give them a little shuffle oh, there 
Absolutely. <laughs> right, of course, uh, that is uh, the uh, Melody Quiltane uh, pick and mix. You choose any two and you're going to get a half meter pieces for ten ninety nine. Remember, you can flex it by 544-325 is the item number. On the website, we have got more poplin and you can see it's a pick and mix. Uh, pick any three for £14.97. And, and yes, you can flex it even though it's half price. You have got the felines mint, the felines pink, peach and the birds and bugs grey. You have got the pixies mint. Oh, that's uh, a pick. whopper of a pick and mix. It, it is. I love the floral pop back. That is really cool. I missed the, it. Where is it? The, the oh, one that one? Yeah. Okay. That's yes, cool. I like it. That, I like it. Me too. Uh, <laughs> then there is vintage floral lilac as well and the hop and matte white pink. Uh, now all, you can choose any three uh, and of course the, for £14.97 it is a uh, half price, better than half price in fact. Uh, grab yours and remember that you can flexify it if you wish to do so because we are the flex extravaganza. Right, we have got about five minutes left. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just recap what we've done so far because uh, yes we are with <laughs> this is a this is a long haul this is kind of real-time quilt making we're doing today so uh, what I've done is picked out uh, the candy pink option from yep. the one day special which takes me from here to here yes yep. the six in that option and then these six these four sorry um, they're from the fabric freedom uh, uh, natural uh, moods quilting cotton mini stack these titles get longer and longer. They don't do. They? Uh, that's fabulous fuchsia Who writes option. This stuff. Yes, it's the one right next to you, which is um, so they work beautifully together. Now, with the Bargello, what I need to do is get it so that the colour that I start with is pretty close to the colour that I finish with, because what we're going to do is take them round and sew them into a loop. So um, I'll get this last one on, and then I'll go digging through some of the other colour options, and then just pick a couple of colours just to get it back to kind of where we started. The other option, if you don't want to do that, is to just kind of come back the other way. So um, I could put another one of those uh, strips on the side of there and then kind of go back the other way until I match up and go around. Perfect. So you've got two different options, but I'm gonna try and get it to go around. I probably will end up with about 12 um, strips in total, anywhere from kind of nine, I would say minimum, and you wanna go upwards from there. You can have as many as you like, but when what we're going to do is sew these back round into a tube. So sew this one to here as a long strip. And then from that, we are going to line it all up and cut through the strips to create long tubes, so long loops of fabric. Now the widths that we're going to cut will vary depending on the pattern that we want to create. And you can either plan that pattern out ahead in advance. Um, we are going freestyling, so that is fine. So ours will kind of vary as we go. But generally, if you go smaller as you go to a, a point, what you'll get is kind of a V shape Absolutely. in your Borgello. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do that a little bit later. Uh, at 8 p.m. with Derek, don't, for, don't forget that. If you wanted extra for like the fabulous fuchsias that of course uh, Hayley was using, here they are. Remember that there you have got uh, four different options of the set of four, 14 pounds and 96 pence, which you can flexibilize as well. You have got four different tones, half meter pieces by 44 inches wide. That's a fabulous fuchsias. Uh, then we have got the uh, lime color. So we have got the mints and the limes in here vibrant beautiful greens then we have got uh, we can see here the you that was a good one, that one. You I like liked that. that one, yeah. yeah. Oh. I did. <laughs> All right, so we have got the red. Strictly, uh, I'll be on the phone shortly. <laughs> <laughs> Not with my heavy footing. Anyway, uh, right, we have got the gorgeous reds in here. And then finally, we have got the, uh, the earthy greens. That really is proper greens. And of course, the last one is more of a sandy uh, brown, uh, sandy you know, it's kind of a natural earthy, earthy colors yeah, in that which one, works uh, very well. Fourteen pounds and ninety-six pence is the price. You are saving five pounds. Whichever option you go for, you can flexify courtesy of Flex Travaganza. Seven nine four five five zero is your item number. Remember that there is lots more on the website, uh, including, of course, the one-day special uh, that comes with a the one meter of fusible, um, you know, fusible web. Uh, as well, there is other items on the website like the fabric free. Them, but uh, colors, basic colors, quilting, cotton. Oh, the yes. rolls. 
I yeah. wish I had these in the studio because those rolls are uh, excellent. We do have had what... some, some updates on that. Oh, have you? Oh. Yeah. Uh, we have sold out on the ivory and the Always blacks. Always go first. So please make sure that you check out your baskets if you want them, please, and make sure that do you do that. You also We also have got the ever popular polymix sheeting, five meters by 2.4 meters. We also have got mix, a pick and mix. Remember that uh, the one day special is launched at 6 p.m. It's back at 8 p.m. And of course, at 8 p.m. will be featured other happy hours and other items. Uh, do stay tuned for that. Hayley, well, you will keep I'm getting doing there. The I'm <laughs> Get I'm sewing as many on as I can but yeah I'm probably only going to need another two or three on and then we'll be able to join it in the next hour and then start uh, cutting those strips off well with that cliffhanger oh, cliffhanger <laughs> I don't know if it's quite a cliffhanger, but yeah, well, go on yes. then. Yes, you know, it's kind <laughs> of... Uh, we will see it's it. It's not like you, a, you know, Game of Thrones cliffhanger or anything like that. Other fantasy, uh, you oh, know, yes. mythical Other programs are available. Are available. But, uh, right, yeah. uh, do stay tuned uh, because, of course, we have got more life hours here at Hot Chanda. After the break, I'm doing uh, happy hours, so it's just me <gasps> and a lot of eggs and stencils. I'm actually very excited. Uh, Hayley, a pleasure Thank as you. always. Thank uh, we you, will see Mrs. you Paola. at 8 and tomorrow at 8 a.m., 12th, and uh, of course, 4 p.m. Stay tuned here at Huchanda and check out your baskets to get the one day special or beautiful.